Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great time. We're happy to have you here. It is my great pleasure at this time to introduce to you the man that has made it all happen for us this year. He is incredible. I always say about the governor, I love him and I like him. And he believes in what you do. So please make welcome the 36th governor of the great state of West Virginia, the one and only, the indescribable, the undeniable Jim Justice. Is it working? Okay, we're good. Please, y'all sit down. Randall just goes crazy, doesn't he? Think about that. Department of West Virginia Arts, Culture, and History. Good stuff, huh? Well, you know, a couple years back, maybe a year back, you know, we were maybe, maybe even teetering on the possibility of of maybe, I don't know if we could, if it's fair to say, turning our back completely on the arts, but uh, we could have pulled that off, you know, and that would have been devastating in my book. And so we broke out and started down a new path. Now, we're doing great stuff, great stuff, and we can do even more greatness. I think, and I'm, I'm going to miss these numbers just a little bit here and there, but I think there's like 1,650 business-related companies that are doing stuff within the arts today. And I think they employ about 9,000 people. You know, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you just think about, think about it in these terms. In West Virginia, the arts, through the variation of, 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 you know, ways that we measure, brings into our state about $1.5 billion. You know, almost like 2.1% of all the monies that we bring in. It's amazing. It is truly amazing. So, what do we do? What do we do? Do we turn our back on a state that has so much history, so much culture embedded in our arts, that why in the world don't we promote that and promote ourselves and drive more and more and more tourism to our state and more and more people that come here that want to decide to stay here or spend their dollars here I've never been able to get it. So, what we've done is we started down a pathway, and we started spending money, and you absolutely award grant after grant after grant, and it is just working. If anything in the world was working, this is working. Now... We've got a great, great leader of the band. We've got to some way get Randall to be a little more enthusiastic about what he does. I mean, he just needs to be a little more passionate and a little more involved. No, I tell you, you talk about somebody that is stuck on on and jacked up, and I love it. I love him for it because he is committed. Absolutely. You talk about somebody all in. I mean, I'm sure there's times, you know, that maybe he may make somebody, you know, mad or get somebody upset with him about a project or whatever it may be. But I'm telling you, nobody, nobody can deny his love for West Virginia, for the arts, all that we stand for. Now, he is so talented, it's off the chart, and I can't find, you know, a bone in me that offers up much talent. But I can tell you I recognize it. Now, I've made a couple notes here, and I just want to make sure that I haven't forgotten something. But and I can't read it anyway, so that ain't going to matter. 
No, <laughs> no, I don't want your glasses, Randall. Just shut your face. Okay, so I'll go back to just this. I'll go back to being just me. You know, you got a guy that came along and became your governor. A guy that maybe really and truly you may have really thought, well, this guy can't possibly be this committed to the arts. No way. But you see, I see what you do. I absolutely appreciate what you're all about. And at the end of the day, I just think just one thing. For every dollar we invest or spend on the arts in West Virginia, it absolutely returns us $10 back. I can do that math. I'm good at that math. And so at the end of the day, what we need to do is keep continuing to expand and expand and expand just the goodness that I know you do. Now, you got a big guy that's your governor and a big guy that believes and a guy that will never tell you anything but the truth. That's all I do. I've been accused over and over of talk, talking folksy, you know, that's the only way I know how to talk. I talk to you as if you were in my living room. I tell you the truth. I'll promise you today, if I tell you it's a seven, if you come back in three weeks, three months, whenever it may be, it'll be a seven. You won't get something from me that's a political move in order to get you to do something, whatever it may be. You won't get that from me. You'll get the truth. I've told you that I stand rock solid in your corner. That won't change. It will not change. Now, it, didn't, it doesn't say that I don't make mistakes. I make all kinds of mistakes. But I'm telling you, I'm proud of what you do. I am with you through and through. I love Randall with all my soul, and I love you. So keep doing great work, and let's just multiply it. Let's just grow it bigger and bigger and bigger. The opportunity is enormous in this state, and we finally got the state moving in the right direction if we just don't get in our own way. That's the biggest thing we got to do. Right now, it's moving so well, we just got to stay out of our own way. So at the end of the day, again, congratulations on all you do. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here. God bless you.